so my name is Jamie Bauer. I work with Rise and Resist, um, and I help organize the Marshals for Rise and Resist. Um, but I started uh, doing marshalling with ACT UP, the AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power, in the late uh, 1980s. And uh, ACT UP developed a very unique style of marshalling, which is carried forward to the current time. And that's why this will say ACT UP Marshall Training Document, as opposed to the Rise and Resist Marshall Training Document, because that's really the roots of uh, this particular style of marshalling. So an organization plans a demonstration, and it's really straightforward. So for example, this demonstration calls uh, for people to gather at Times Square and to march to Union Square and then do a little rallying at Union Square and then disperse. And so what would marshals be expected to do at this? They'd be expected to get there early, welcome people, sort of uh, form a very loose ring around the group as a whole. So on, be on the perimeter, be inviting people to join us, uh, be keeping an eye on the police, uh, be on the eye, uh, look out for anybody who's a heckler or um, wanting to get in an altercation with a demonstrator, uh, be on the lookout for uh, any demonstrators who are having arguments with each other. And that happens uh, fairly frequently. People are offended by other people's signs. And sometimes uh, we need friendly intervention with that. Um, and you're there to pass information, so to tell people, hey, look, in 15 minutes, we're going to start marching. Um, then when we march, what the marshals do is, again, help delimit the march. You know, you set the pace in the front. You pick up, uh, there's some people in the back who make sure we, there's a buffer between us and the police behind us. And then we usually keep some marshals on the side who also help uh, block traffic on the side streets as we're, as we're moving. And generally, everything is really nice and easy, and it's a great way to participate in the demo. Marshals always arrive first and leave last. So you get there before it starts. You have to stay there until it's over. Um, and if that was all that really being a marshal needed, we could all go home right now. But the fact is that a lot of times things happen that you don't expect to happen. And what I want to do is really walk everybody through uh, what those kinds of things are so that um, if you're marshalling a demonstration and you see them happening, you can uh, identify them and tell other marshals and help resolve it. Or if you're actually at a demonstration where you're just, you just showed up to demonstrate, you can jump in and help if you need to. So you know, the first thing that, I, that I'm going to say is that marshals are not security. Marshals are just another function of the organization to help run the demonstration. So we're not there to protect people. Um, we're not there to be a, uh, the, the uh, organizing police force. Um, we're there to really be a buffer between our group and the police and to try to control and handle things so that the police really don't need to be there. As a matter of fact, my favorite demonstrations are the demonstrations where the police don't show up at all. And we just marshal ourselves. We do what we want to do. And we go home. So however, when uh, with Facebook and with the police monitoring Facebook, we know that anything that we put a Facebook event up for, they're going to be police there. Um, but really the object is to not to have the police control the demonstration, but to have the organizing body control the demonstration. And that's where marshals really come in, in handy. Um, so it's important uh, when you go and you marshal a demonstration that you know what the scenario, what the plan is, and that you really listen carefully at the beginning for what... Uh, what time different things are going to happen. Uh, are we going to march? If we're marching, where should I be? Am I a front marshal, a back marshal, a side marshal? What time are we going to march? Uh, where are we ending up? What are we going to do when we, end there, when we get there? And how are we expected to end the demonstration? How are we going to 
Are we going to have a ritual? Are we going to sing? Are we going to chant? How are we going to disperse people and get them out of the, um, out of the area?